Tuve la oportunidad de sentarme a dialogar con el nuevo dirigente de los Salt Lake Stars, el equipo de Liga G League de la NBA del equipo de los Utah Jazz, Nathan Peavy. El puertorriqueño habló sobre cómo desarrollará estos jugadores y cómo también puede entrar en lo que es la psicología para que estos jugadores no se frustren cuando no son llamados al equipo grande de la NBA. La G League estará comenzando en estos próximos días en lo que es un formato burbuja desde Orlando, Florida. Uh, Manolo Rodríguez with Tab Deportes, go ahead. Nathan from Puerto Rico. Um, first of all, this is, uh, like you said, unprecedented year with all this pandemic and stuff. Now you're in a bubble. You saw the bubble, but now you're in it. How will this affect now moving forward on you as an individual? I think the effect is a positive one. Uh, if I can coach in under these circumstances, I think I can coach in any circumstances. I think the G League alone is a challenge coaching because of all the change and turnover that happens to rosters mid seasons and different weeks from week to week, from day to day, you can have a different roster. And I think the G League itself is just a challenge. So now you add in, um, you add in this year with all the uh, COVID protocols and all the changes in, in, and restrictions that you have to go through to be able to, to, to accomplish something. I think it adds another layer of challenges, which I think like, hey, this makes me better. This, this helps me improve. This makes sure that I'm on top of my game. That way I'm doing the best job that I can to help these players, to help these young men uh, become successful uh, on this level to reach the next level. You just mentioned the levels and, and the prior question you mentioned players being in front of them. Now you're in the position you need. We spoke to this when you were hired, but now you're in the position. How will you keep these guys focused on if you don't make it this year to the NBA? How will you keep them focused to, you know, completing the season and just keep grinding? How do you do that? I think that that kind of works itself out. You know, these players, they got to this level for doing just that, which is grinding and working hard. I don't think that's going to stop now that they're here. Um, if they don't make their goal of getting to the NBA down here in the G League this year, I guarantee you that they will keep trying to work and keep on giving effort every day into the uh, get, getting into the gym, working on their game to get to that next level next year or the year after. These these young men are tremendous workers. Every every player here in the G League, they want to get to the next level, and they're they got to this spot for doing what they do, and that's working hard on their games. And I think that doesn't stop. Uh, that doesn't stop. This whole environment, I feel like, lends to now players being able to concentrate on just basketball. You know, having the court time to be able to work with coaches and getting the games in to work on their games, to work on gameplay and stuff like that. So it's something that. It's, it's something that I don't think I have to push them. I think they push themselves pretty well. I just have to make sure that they're on the right track as far as what they need to do to get better. Uh, Manalo, you have a follow-up? Yeah. Um, regarding the Odoka, you being a, an ex-player, professional player, you still look like you can play. Have you been actually going one-on-one -on -one with him, trying to teach him what you already know, have, what you already have, learn from other coaches to try to, you know, like help him improve on his game for the next level? Well, first I'll make it clear that I'm not playing Udoka one-on-one, like full live play. I'm not playing Udoka one-on-one. He will, he will crush me. <laughs> I can't, I won't be able to keep up with him, but, but uh, in all seriousness, yes, I, I, I use a lot of my playing experience, especially, you know, being a, uh, being one of the bigs, and just knowing what I know, the knowledge over the years that I've gained, uh, being able to develop him personally, to be able to work on the f uh, and fine tune some things um, that he could work on as far as he being down low and in pick and roll. Um, that way, and, and, and finishing around the basket, just those, just fine tuning details with his game to make sure that he just keeps developing each day. And uh, I feel like that's what I that's what I can offer him. And I kind of got a little bit of sense and nuance just because I have played. And I try to use that to my advantage to help you, Doka, uh, develop.